Hello! Welcome back to Let's Try Roleplay. My name is James, and this is the first episode of my Jedi Knight Jedi Academy playthrough. Which I realise it does not say on the stream. That ought to fix it. But yes, so recently I played through uh, the... Oh, there's a lot of Jedi games. Wow. Here we go. Fantastic. Yeah, so recently I played through the Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast game, uh, which was fantastic because it was a game that I always played when I was a kid and absolutely loved playing through it again. Uh, and then I was debating over what I was going to play after this. Lots of different... Um, options came to mind. I did. T I was very tempted to play Wait until the new uh, Jedi Fallen Order game came out and stream that. But unfortunately, I I'm probably not going to be able to do much streaming at all over the Christmas holidays. So, because of that, you know, I want to be able to play it as well with, uh, without having to, you know, and not, not with the inability to be able to stream it at that time. You know, I, I don't want to not play it because I'm waiting to stream it so unfortunately I will not be streaming that game but I've decided to come back and thought you know I debated whether I was going to play this game through after Jedi Knight 2 but I love Jedi Academy and it's really good plus you get to make your own character in it which is great so I thought why why would I not do this play this play this through right okay so what we're going to have to do now is start up the game. Stupidly, I didn't actually start up the game before Windows. I think it's a square aspect ratio. I've tried it, all the other aspect ratios and all of them are square, but different sizes of squares. Well, kind of a square. Close to a square. So we'll um make do with that. Best logo ever. Okay. So, hopefully we are now streaming. I'm going to make it full screen for myself, which for me stretches the screen slightly, but hopefully should leave everything the same for you guys, right? Okay, so we're going to go new game. We're going to go Jedi Knight again, because I just don't think I'm going to be able to do this as a Jedi Master. I really struggled in the last game just as a Jedi Knight, so yeah. Let's be yeah, let's be realistic. Jedi Jedi Knight. Okay, cool. Now we have to choose our character. Character creation. A Keldor male. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tempting. Rodian. Ah, uh, I love that they give you some weird and wonderful species. Twi'lek female. Oh, that would be cool. That could be pretty cool. You can go blue skin like Uma Nakatima, one of the characters from our podcast. Hmm. Maybe. Zabrak female, that is pretty cool. Ooh, you can do, ooh. Oh, that's the clothes. Oh, I see you don't get issues there. Ah, okay, I see. So the, sh the Twi'lek is the only one that allows you to actually change skin colour, which is pretty cool. The Zabrak's are pretty... Oh, that is pretty cool. I'm also super tempted to be a Keldor. I don't really care if I'm male or female. I don't really care about the species. Because I know they don't change the voice, so it would be hilarious just hearing a guy's voice coming out of this guy. Hmm... Possibly. I think I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Twilek. Yeah, Twilek. Blue skin Twilek? That is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go blue Twilek. Uh very similar Ooh, there's more clothes? Oh no way. <gasps> That's pretty badass. Okay. 
From the off, I genuinely don't think I'm going to be playing this particularly light side. I've played it light side a load of times. This, this definitely looks something like the way that I... Yeah, dark. It looks kind of like dark. Oh, I like that. Okay, okay. Let's do that. It's very Anakin from episode three, though, with a little bit more skin. Unfortunately, they have to do that to all female characters. Ooh, now I get to choose a hilt. Okay. Ooh, this is... This is kind of cool. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that one. It's very sithy. A bit boring there. It's quite nice. Simple. Okay. I think I'm going to go for this. I think, oh, could give her a purple lightsaber sort of like she's. So I played the last game. Although, yes, Karl Katarn has a blue lightsaber. Uh, but in my game, <laughs> he had a green lightsaber. Because I went into the console commands to add that in. So, you know, that can go screw itself. Um, so I think I think this time I'm probably going to step away from the green. Seeing as I played a whole episode through the green one. I'm going to go for... Orange could be pretty cool. So I know the purple lightsaber defines a Jedi as that sort of... Mace Windu sort of way with a very aggressive stance of the Force, meaning that they have um, they are light side user that skirts very close to the dark, but um, without falling to it. I'm gonna go purple because I think that's really cool. I know later on in the game we also get to decide on a double light double ended lightsaber or two lightsabers, so we'll make that decision later. Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. <laughs> so, ten years after the Battle of Endor, the Imperial Remnant continues to be driven back by the New Republic, forcing Imperials to adopt increasingly desperate tactics in the ongoing struggle. Only ten years after? Hmm. Well, let's catch up with that. Meanwhile, Jedi Master Luke Skywalker moves to restore the Jedi to their formal, formal place, not formal, formal place as peacekeepers of the galaxy at his Jedi Academy on Yavin 4. Jaden Kaur, a promising student from Coruscant, is en route to the Academy after receiving the impossible, achieving the impossible. Creating a lightsaber without any formal Jedi training. Oh, cool. So I created it. I'm going to create my own backstory. My name's... So it's Jaden no matter what... Species or gender you choose. That's really weird. That's very strange. Well, I'm a toilet called Jaden. We'll be arriving at the Academy in just a few minutes. Mm. That would be so great! Why am I getting flashes Aren't on you my excited? Is that coming We're going to be Jedi! Learning the ways That's of the Force, strange. building a lightsaber? Oh, of course, you already have one. <laughs> I'm gonna get one of those stupid training sabers and then... I wouldn't worry about that. Oh, the voice suits really it. much. Eh? I want to make a good impression. You seem really nervous. <laughs> Aren't you? I mean, well, why would you be? You already have a lightsaber, so you're probably way ahead guy. of me. <laughs> I'm Rosh, by the way. That's um, creepy. What's your name? Jaden. So where'd you get that lightsaber? Well, it's kind of a long story. I found myself on the... Hold on! Ah! I found myself on the Death Star and I stole it from this guy dressed up in like black and stuff. It was real weird. Whoa! It was really weird that we were getting that. Fl I was getting lots of flashing light kept disappearing. <sighs> mm. I 
Academy to Yavin Runner 2. Do you copy? Loud and clear. We made an emergency landing several clicks west of the Academy. Is everyone all right? I think so. Good. We'll send a shuttle to pick you up. Can you lead the students to the nearby Masasi Temple? Cool, cool, Tiger. Affirmative, Academy. We'll meet you there. How did we end up outside the ship? Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. I believe that was force speed being used Jamie, there. we can't get to you. Make your way to the temple. The shuttle will meet us there. Jaden, okay. hey! I'm stuck! Can you help? Uh, I'm sure. I'm on my way. Right. Jane, see if you can make your way around there. Oh, that's so cool. Right, cool. Love it. Maybe you can use your lightsaber to cut those trees down and make a bridge. Okay. So... Thanks, Jaden. Let's get to the temple. I definitely don't have a good jump at the moment. I do have. Oh, just shoot me! Oh, I. Well, I got my vengeance on him. I guess. Whoops. Sorry, dude. Jade, see if you can make your way around there. Maybe you can use your <laughs> so we're off to a good start. Trees down and make a bridge. Right. Thanks, Jane. Cool. Let's get to the temple. So saving is the same button. I think I've already gone in to the controls and assigned some of the things that I some of the controls to the way that I liked in the last game. Wow, these things are persistent. Although I I, I think it's kinda cool starting off with a lightsaber in this game immediately. But um there must be a way to open this. In the last game, it is something nice about earning it. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Watch out. Oh, that sucks. Alright. Onwards. Okay. It annoys me how crap my jump is. <laughs> Efficiently done. Oh, that's a pretty cut down. I can make that jump. Yeah. Hey, maybe you can use your saber to make another bridge. Great, let's go. One step ahead of you, Rosh. I like Rosh. Good guy. Right. I feel like I should be hitting that. Okay, we got it. These things are annoying. Their hitboxes are too small. Alright, one second. Just moving something on my desk. Cool, there we go, that's better. Oop, there we go. Gene, get down! There's stormtroopers in the clearing. Ooh, ooh, dear. Maybe you should, uh, check it out. You're the one with the lightsaber, after all. I mean, he does have a really, really, really good strong point. Um, it doesn't make him any less of a dick. Right. Whoa! Is that a reborn? Already? <laughs> I don't have my jumping abilities. Whoa. Oh, we got him! <laughs> That's our first reborn. Sorted. Didn't dismember them as badly as the other game did. Oh. Uh, using a laser spear. Wait a second. Is that the girl from the first one? It is! What? Oh, crap. What? Who are you? 
<sighs> Kyle Katarn, at your service. <laughs> Welcome to a day awesome. in the life of the Jedi. I love it. What happened? We were kind of hoping you could tell us. I saw a huge flash of light and ran over to find you, just lying unconscious. Do you recall anything? I saw three people. One was holding some sort of scepter and it was glowing. That's all I can remember. A scepter? That sounds bad. Are you able to stand? Yeah, I'm okay. I sense a disturbance in the Force. You always sense a disturbance in the Force. But yeah, I sense it too. Mm. It could just be residual dark side aura from this temple. Perhaps. Kyle, why don't you... Stay here and investigate? I'd love to. Why don't you take the kids back home now? Be careful, Kyle. Everyone, follow me to the shuttle. I think that... That was Luke Skywalker. I can't believe it. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. I like that. I appreciate who Luke is. Did you recover Skywalker's records? <laughs> yes. <laughs> With all the Jedi in the jungle, it was almost too easy. Excellent. Hmm. Excellent. Okay. Is it... Is it frozen? Right. I think we... Okay. This is one of the many training grounds here. Unfortunately, though, I think we missed the cutscene, but if I remember courses. correctly, there's a conversation about basically we've got to do go these trials. Game. Um, Gosh, follow me. Oh, we, we get assigned our master, so Kyle's now my master, which is pretty sweet. And I've got my lightsaber, which is pretty inappropriate. We've got to do these trials, and the two of us have been assigned to the same master, and now we're going to do our Jedi training stuff. There was probably some conversation about what that magic stick was and stuff as well, but oh well. And I think Rosh goes on about how he's going to beat me in these trials, and Kyle's like, it's not a race, you dickhead, but... He's like, well, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm do this really course will familiarize you with your core Force abilities. These are powers that every Force user has. As you progress in your training, you will learn new abilities. Both the light and dark sides will be open to you. Remember, abilities are not inherently good or evil. Got Force jumps. It's how you use them. Every Jedi is naturally oh, stronger yes. in different areas of the Force. And it will be up to you to decide what to focus on. All right, let's get started. In the next area, you'll find some training remotes. These will help you learn how to handle a lightsaber. Ready? Okay. Ready. Ready. I believe we are having some issues with the stream, so if you're watching this, you're Here most likely watching it on YouTube, unfortunately. It doesn't appear that the stream is actually live properly. Oh, very good. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh, well. Good. Done. What? Nice work, Rush. Ooh. You made well too, Jaden. Your lightsaber you is an invaluable tool. Even when inactive, it can diffuse a potentially volatile situation. Trust me on that. As you train, you'll learn additional fighting styles. Changing styles during combat can surprise your opponent, allowing you to gain the upper hand. From here on out, we'll talk via comlink in each area. Oh, okay. Let's move on. All right, I think the stream is actually properly active now, which is good. It's not been turning up until now, but I think okay, it's Jay, all working. You need to use the force to jump across the levee. Okay, it shouldn't so be a jump. problem. If you fall, you jump back up to the Right. Okay. Uh, what was the point of them being there? Are they hiding something good? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, so you can leave lines now on the... Can I write my name?
Oh, it fades away too quickly. And I'm also really, really bad at it. Okay, whatever. Right. Let's jump across the ravine. Nailed it. A sick Jedi. You'll have to use push to get out of here and into the next area. Way ahead of you. Hey, Jaden. This should keep you busy till I finish the course. What? Oh, you. What the fuck? Dickhead. He really does want to beat me. Okay. Uh, whoa, yes. Got some sweet acrobatic skills. Come on. Sweet ass Twilight Jedi. Get me. Eat my tail dust. Hell yeah. We absolutely dealt with that like an absolute pro. Okay. Checking there's no ex things of interest around here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, whatever. What Rosh is a so bit of a dick. Nothing. You're sure? It was nothing. To get to the next area, you must pull the lever somewhere in the room. But you can't reach the lever with your hands. Remember to examine your environment carefully. When you're out on a mission, if you find a locked door, look for the guy in charge. He usually has a key. So I need to get Katar. No. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, okay. Solutions to problems aren't always obvious. Use your force sense to see if you can find a way out of the room. Ah, force sense. Right. I don't have that one bound. Oh, I do. It's oh. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. I see what you're putting down. Okay. Just gonna check that there's nothing extra. Okay, right. Is that one? Yeah, sweet. Whoa, that was close. Right, cool, let's go that way. Okay, I'm, I'm blasting through these trials. Right. Searchy, searchy the room for anything good. Nothing. I'm just obsessed with trying to find those secret areas. You're almost done. You'll need to move fast in this next area. You can use the force to speed up both physically and mentally, allowing you more time to make decisions. And I need more than the force for me to speed up mentally. Okay, so not that way. Oh, I see. Their proximity. What have I got control bound as? Oh. Oh, right, okay. No, no, no. Cool, that's better. Yeah, I want to be able to roll. Cool, there we go, sorted, right. I guess I just go through here then. So, did I win? It wasn't a competition. I'm sorry, I... I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. It's no big deal. You said yourself this wasn't a competition. What is that pose? What is he doing? Hey, it was just a joke. I didn't think it would... If that droid was set to Luke's training regimen, it would have killed Jaden. What were you thinking? Jaden, I'm so sorry. I, I can't believe I... I mean, I wasn't trying Save to... Save it, Rosh. Jaden, you have a right to be angry. But believe me when I say you don't want to feed that emotion. I understand, Master Katarn. Apology accepted, Rosh. Good, that's settled. And remember, it's Kyle? Yes, Master. Um, Kyle. Sure thing, Kyle. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. His nose could not be firmer. Let's see More firmly planted in Katarn's ass. Kyle, 
I did some research on that strange mark from the clothing we found at the temple. It is the symbol of Marco Ragnos, a Sith Lord that died almost 5,000 years ago. Mm. 5,000 years? Are you serious? Oh, wait. Of course you're serious. While you're out training your students, be on the lookout for information regarding a group affiliated with Ragnos. Sure thing, Luke. Ragnos. Ragnarok. We've received countless requests for assistance from all over the galaxy. Since we believe in learning by doing at the Academy, students of all levels help with these requests. Since okay. you're an initiate, however, Kyle will travel with you on most of your missions in order to instruct you and ensure your safety. Cool. Oh, it does that thing. Oh, yeah. I love this. At the end of every mission briefing, they go, f they frown right at the end for some reason. They just... Emotions suddenly go... Ooh, okay, so I get to pick my mission. So we've got mercenary activity, droid recovery, emergency assistant, merchant rescue, and cult investigation. Let's go do emergency assistance, because that seems like an emergency. So officials from the planet uh, Bakara have requested our assistance. An unknown party has taken control of a power station up in the mountains. They sent a team to investigate, but they haven't reported in. Their concerns are twofold. They want to stop whoever has taken over the station, and more importantly, oh god, ensure that the station itself remains undamaged. The station is built over a dormant volcano, and if the facility is destroyed, the volcano could destroy a heavily populated city. The Bakarans need someone to infiltrate the facility and thwart the group's plan. Kyle is currently away from the academy, but he will meet you on Bakura. <laughs> Watch his face. Then the two of you can investigate the station. Be sure to wait for him before you do anything. Proud. <laughs> I love that. I have no idea why it does that, but it's great. Right, okay. This can allow you to increase your... Any one force power by single rank. The maximum is three. Click on any light dark side. Okay. Right, okay. Hmm. Okay, so I think it's for the first couple of missions. Let's, let's ignore these extra things. Or the force heal would be helpful, but let's ignore that for now. And let's work on having um, a little bit of extra stuff here. So let's get myself. Oh, I can't. Oh, I see. It has to be one of these ones. I see. Well, in that case, let's give ourselves some force heal. Always helpful to have a wee bit of that. Okay. Work towards our dark side path later. Uh, of course, you get to choose your weapons now as well. Let's definitely throw some grenades in, they're always helpful. Um, I hope that's kind of like Kyle's weapon from the first one, because that is basically the best. And let's whack in... Um, let's whack in that and that. Seeing as I've got the lightsaber already, I'm not really going to be using those much anyway. The bowcaster is a really powerful weapon, and that sniper rifle could come help, uh, helpful if I got a really long distance. Been waiting here forever. Long distance attack. Well, I can't wait around. I've got to do something. Oh, can I fly an X-wing? I know how to pilot an X-wing. That's pretty sweet. Where has this lady been? Oh, just been stood around, just ignoring the dead guy. It is. It's exactly the same. Just a reskinned. Kyle's one. Sweet. Another dead guy. Okay. Another dead guy. Good. Were they bad guys or just the workers here? They've got guns in their hands. They've laid bombs. Good. They're gonna blow the Getting whole installation. I have to stop that countdown. There's bombs everywhere. All right, one next to the blue pipes. Two, three, both on roofs. Four next to the tankers. Five next to the power supply. Okay, so there's five bombs in total. 
Some five bombs. We have an intruder. So there's Imperials. My force pressure sucks. Whoa! Whoa! That was a cool little animation. That was awesome. I didn't cut him out though, why? Uh, I need to figure out how to add dismemberment back into this game. I've got full shield. Not that I like dismembering people, it just feels like it should dismember them. I'll work on that for next time. Okay. Whoa, whoa! So I've got the invisibility that that from the shadow arm in the first game. Right. Ah, oh, animation is pretty cool. Oh, I just burnt up his junk. Okay. Oh yeah, sorry. Of course, I forgot my running thing from the last game. Right. Whoa! What the hell? Need a security key. Okay. No doubt that I'm probably going to have to come through this way again, so... Sweet Mama Jama. Is that not hitting it? the worst shooting you've probably ever seen there. Okay. Cool animation, but does make that tactic for my last game a little bit more difficult. That's okay though, we can, we can cope with that. More pipes, right, I think this must be taking me to the blue pipes room. Make it easy to pass her. Oh, I got all preempted there. Right. Haven't saved in a while, so we'll save. Whoa! Sure, that was close. Oh, Try to get, keep the animation a little bit there. Alright, we got him. Sweet. Okay, four more to go. Okay, four more bombs. Nothing around there. Okay. Right. What's the point of being able to come down here? Hmm. I wonder what the point of being able to come down here is at all. Right, okay. So well, let's just call the lift back up. Down and we'll, we'll go head back up. Then we'll go through the facility again and then back through the other door right at the beginning. Uh, I'm not sure what the purpose of being able to go down there is, but... Maybe there's extra enemies down there or something when you're on a higher level. I left the bombs in place or they'd still be there. That's right, I can heal. What are you guys doing? How about wealthy? Sweet. 
Okay. I got that key. Okay, so we'll, we'll move. We'll finish all of this side first. Then. Whoa! Hell yeah, that was pretty good. Stab. Nice. Cool, we got a new move. That's good. Okay, okay. This way. Left first. Hey, you! Over there! Whoa! What the hell? How badly did they miss trying to kill me? That is insane. Oh. <coughs> wow, okay. Well, that, that turret might come in helpful, so... That takes you down, okay. Oh, cool. All right, okay, that was scary. Those invisible guys are going to sneak up on me at some point. I just know it. Right. Anything in here that looks like it might be. Oh, maybe the below here. This is where that lift was going. Right, so let's take the lift. Can I make a line all the way down? <laughs> Drag this line. This has got to be some sort of... Okay, so it's just a secret area. Okay. Not particularly helpful, but that's fine. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I still have a taunt! So, like Morpheus rather than that stuff, but that's pretty cool. I like that. Come to me. I wonder if taunts actually make a difference in this game. Right, okay. Ooh! Another bomb, another bomb. <laughs> Three more. Okay, three more bombs. Right. Another secret area, sweet. Another unnecessary, but that's fine. Thought it was an area I could crawl into, maybe, but no. Stay where you are. Right, cool. Right, okay. That was probably a mistake. Um, doing that roll. Although, it looks sweet AF, uh, it did open me up to some sweet blast balls in the face. So, right. Let's keep searching. Ooh. Cool. That was easily fixed. Sweet. Okay. And how am I doing that? Yes, smoothly ruining all my force. Cool. cool. Right. Oh damn it! I really do need to get better force powers. Jump could definitely use an improvement. I just miss being able to do what I could do in the last game. Oh my god! <laughs> that was hilarious! He proper Superman his way over the edge. I was just hoping that that wouldn't hurt me. Right, okay, I remember this. Is there a way to get across? What if I wall run it? Nope. What if I wall run it? Nope. What if I go this way and then... Come back later. 
Alright, I remember the last time I played this game through, I remember finding this level really difficult because I couldn't figure out where the last bomb was. Hmm. Ooh. Well, the there's some more bombs. We know where some of them are going to be, so that's fine. We can worry about that later. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. We got some nice uh, health and shield. Can I cut this? Oh, the lift. Cool. There we go. Right. A little disappointed that my force push off that didn't kill him, but you know, I suppose. In, with good armor, maybe he could survive that fall. If he'd been wearing good armor, not stormtrooper pieces of crap, whatever. Laminant armor? That's for the lift. Hmm. Okay. Let's gather some shield back to 100, that's good. Up there. Right. Who goes there? On the bomb. Just right. two more left. Sucks to be that guy. Cool. Right. Whoa. Oh no, 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 no. Give it back, give it back, give it back. Where did it go? Okay. Got all of them. Why? What was the point of being able to come down here? It's just to trap you. Meaningless level design. Hmm. Disappointed. Yeah, I mean. Oh, shit. Oh. Jesus, those guys are down there. Okay. Oh, we got them. They're all down. Oh, nice little secret area. Did someone just say all clear? It is for me. And your guys, on the other hand, are not having a good, as good a day. Oh god, damn. Damn it. Okay. So. Let's head through that door over. Oh, is that my block? Okay, let's not fall back down. We might not be able to get back up. Oh, so this is the way we came in. I have a feeling that the other one, another bomb is in here. We got it. Cool. Right, I think that's a root clip. There's another one. There we go. Right. Only one more. It didn't go all the way up, but it is in fact disarmed. Because she said it was. 
Okay. So there's one bomb left somewhere. That's still stuck. And there was no point of going down this way, was there? Is that door at the end not the colour on it? No, cool, okay, so it's... Let's... Oh god. I'm not able to call that down now, so I can't get back up. Right. Jumpy, jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Do, 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 do. Right. Okay, where am I going? Where am I going? Where's that last bomb? We could go back to the com link, the uh, video link thing and figure out where it is, but... Okay, this is all going very well, actually. Playing this like a pro! Not that I think much of my own abilities, but I'm pretty happy actually. Oh god. Interesting. That's a shield container there. Right, so. We were gonna head back this way, so let's do that. Heal up a little bit first, use up my remainder of my force power. Okay. Ooh, only just saw that guy. Hey droid. Need in. Can't get that one. Okay. Right here. Oh. Not being this way yet. Yeah, let's go this way. Okay. That explain how you get in without going in through the broken Ooh, big okay. These guys really suck. Mm, that could have gone worse. You're right, you're invisible. I can't kill you if you're invisible. Right. Let's heal, heal a little bit. The most interesting part of this playthrough is me healing. Oh, wrong button. Okay. Okay. actually particularly helpful but nevertheless ah uh, here we go that was kind of helpful hmm ah now what that's done is take me back round through to here again which is the door that was my backup for the next place we did that one that one's done that one's, so that's the last one we've got left to do. Okay, how do we get there? They're all done. That one doesn't look like it's done, but it is. 
Let's go back out that way. Let's see if there's. So I think there was another door that I hadn't explored yet that I went this way. So I'm pretty sure it's there. That one over there. Which we've not been to yet. Yes, because I've done that one already, so if we go that way, we should be able to... Awesome, okay. Oh yeah, I remember this bit, right. Oh god! Sweet flips there, but they weren't particularly helpful. Okay. Okay, okay. I saw this. Did you? Oh, right. Okay, this seems like the right way. Final bomb. Does it? Better get back to my ship. Better get back to my ship. Sweet, let's do that. I don't remember coming this way before. I did. I must have completely missed uh, that door. I went up to the first bomb. Kyle, where are you, man? Whoa! Okay. Let's get ourselves back to the ship. Buggy off this planet, it's not long again to blown up, which means that volcano won't go off and kill all those people. Sorry I never made it to Bakura. You seem to handle yourself okay though. Okay. That's pretty good. We've done our first mission. We did a lot of arm attacks. Just some decent blocks. Oh, mostly body attacks though. This is I like we get some stats. He doesn't frown so much. We've been looking into the shuttle oh. crash, and it doesn't look like laser damage or mechanical failure was responsible. It's almost as if something just tore apart the engines. Ah, uh, there we go, a little bit of a frown. <laughs> I'm not even listening to the thing. Right. Okay, very cool. I think we're going to leave it there for now, for today. Um... We've done our character creation, our starting missions, and our first proper in-game mission from the choice. So that's really good. I think what we'll do is, because I need to, to be able to save, we're going to choose our next mission. So. I think droid recovery sounds fun. We're going to do a droid recovery. So a moisture farmer on Tatarine recently overheard a group of smugglers talking about a Sith cult. In a local bar, and has his R has, and had his R5 droid record the conversation. Unfortunately, he became afraid and sold the droid to some Jawas before leaving Tatooine. We need to get a hold of that droid before the Jawas wipe its memory. Uh, oh my God, I'm so dyslexic. Where has it gone? Yeah, you are to locate the Jawas, purchase the droid, and return to the academy. Except that should be a total blue milk run, kid. But it'll give you a chance to pick up some negotiating skills. Let's head to Tatooine. Yes, sir. Right. Let's, um... 
Do you like? Oscar is pretty fun. Lightning is pretty helpful as well. So I think this time we'll we'll put one into. I feel like you would, if you were becoming a dark side user, you would learn force grip before you learned force lightning. It's a continuation of the Jawas, general force powers. Never around when you need them. Tracks. Maybe they've already come and gone. Go see if you can find their sand crawler. They might have stopped in that canyon. I'll talk to the moisture farmers, see if they know anything about this cult. All right. Don't worry. Jawas are pretty friendly. Right, okay, cool. Hunting Jawas. Right. Right, okay. So that is our first episode of my Jedi, Jedi Academy playthrough finished. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. If you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. If you've been watching on Twitch, please consider giving us a follow. If you've watched it on either, please go back and forth between the two and give us a subscription and a, and a follow. That'd be really, really fantastic. Um, I'm My name is James. I'm primarily from a podcast called Let's Try Roleplay, the name of this Twitch stream. Uh, we are an RPG podcast for multiple fandoms. Uh, we primarily do Dungeons and Dragons, but we, we've also done uh, game systems such as Force and Destiny from the Star Wars universe. We've done Pokemon pa Tabletop United. Uh, we've even done Call of Cthulhu, and we're going to be doing some stuff in the future with Powered by the Apocalypse. So, yeah, if, you, if you're at all interested in podcasts, please uh, jump over to iTunes, Podbean, uh, Spotify or whatever podcasting app you have, wherever you like to get your podcasts, and check us out. It's Let's Try Roleplay. Um, and if you do like us, please consider following us on one of our social medias, or our SOMIs. Uh, we have Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. All of those are Let's Try Roleplay. We also have uh, an email address where you can get in contact with us, which is at uh, let's try roleplay at gmail.com and we even have um, a red bubble where you can go on and buy some of our merch and stuff um, examples of the sort of artwork we have are on our Instagram but please go on and check some stuff out it would be brilliant so thank you very much for watching um, we'll be back soon in a couple of days to do the second episode so thank you very much bye bye <laughs>